Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a hot topic that's been on everyone's mind lately. Why the heck are gas prices skyrocketing? If you've been to a gas station recently, you've probably felt the pinch in your wallet. So let's get into the nitty gritty of what's causing the surge in gas prices. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you find this info helpful. 1. Global Oil Supply and Demand First up, we've got the classic supply and demand issue. The world's been in a bit of a roller coaster with the pandemic, right? At the start, demand for oil plummeted as everyone stayed home. Now with things opening back up, demand is surging. But guess what? The supply isn't catching up as quickly. Countries and companies that cut back production are taking their sweet time ramping up again. Less supply plus more demand equal sign higher prices. Simple math, but it hurts. 2. OPEC decisions. Next we've got the OPEC, Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries Factor. This powerful group of oil producing nations has a huge influence on global oil prices. Recently, they decided to stick to their gradual increase in production instead of opening the taps wide. Their cautious approach is keeping supply tight, pushing prices up. OPEC's decisions are like the puppet strings of the oil market. 3. Geopolitical tensions. Oh, and let's not forget about the drama on the world stage. Geopolitical tensions in oil-rich regions can send shockwaves through the oil markets. Whether it's conflicts, sanctions, or political instability, any sign of trouble can make investors nervous and drive up prices. It's like the market's on high alert, ready to react to the slightest provocation. 4. Hurricane season and natural disasters. Mother Nature also likes to throw her hat in the ring. Hurricanes, especially in regions like the Gulf of Mexico, can disrupt oil production and refining operations. When these facilities shut down, even temporarily, it creates a bottleneck in supply. This year's hurricane season has been pretty active, contributing to the upward pressure on prices. 5. Economic recovery and inflation. With the global economy bouncing back, we're also seeing a broader trend of rising prices, or inflation. Everything is getting more expensive, and gas is no exception. As businesses ramp up operations, the demand for energy increases, putting additional strain on oil supplies. Inflation is like that annoying friend who tags along and makes everything more expensive. 6. Transition to green energy. Lastly, there's the big shift towards green energy. Governments and companies are investing heavily in renewable energy sources, which is great for the planet, but adds another layer of complexity to the oil market. Fossil fuel investments are slowing down, which can limit future oil supply. It's a tricky balance as we transition to a greener future while still relying heavily on oil. So there you have it, folks. A perfect storm of factors is driving up gas prices, from supply and demand imbalances to geopolitical tensions, natural disasters, economic recovery, and the push for green energy. It's a complex web of influences, and while we might not see relief at the pump right away, understanding these factors can help us make sense of what's happening. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future updates. Let me know in the comments how the gas prices are affecting you and if you have any tips for saving on fuel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.